What's up, you guys? Time to get into this collective energy and see what's going on. I made my round, so I want to see what the collective person kind of feels about them at this time. Because a lot of them, I don't know, they have deep-rooted regrets. You know, it's a new season. Times have changed. Excuse me. Shoes are on the other foot. So, let's see what's going on. Beloved, what's going on with this person that's in the collective energy? What does the collective need to know, please? Hmm. That's funny. That's the first card out. Well, what does the collective need to know, please? Forever mine. Oh, you're one of a kind. I got what you want. You got what I want. And baby, we were made for each other. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, collective. What's that song about? Forever mine. So they ain't letting you go or whatnot. Nope, they ain't letting go. They in this emperor energy now. They don't grew up for most of them, okay? They watching you, and the crazy part about it is they finna get up out this chair, off this planet, off their high horse, off of whatever games they've been playing for the longest period of time, and make this move because they feel that energy of them collective is getting away. Yeah. I feel like this person been thinking about reaching out to you for a minute. But they need they need some um courage. <laughs> Maybe they need to have a little drink, have some liquid courage, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Ooh, you guys might be getting a drunk text. Ah. Uh, that drunken love energy, the world, the star, the hangman, oh, the ace of wands. The Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman. Mm. Did I say the Hangman? I mean the Fool. The Will of Fortune, the Five of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. And the Two of uh of ones you know what it's just crazy when five get up under your ass then it's time to make a move why do i feel like this king of pentacles got some fire up under the ass what is this fire that you talking about black madonna hb i'm talking about that fire of other people interested in they damn person you know, as long as you was being cool and you wasn't seeing nobody and you was all in love with them and they didn't know you had no options and it was all about them, they was cool with that, right? Because they was over here having all the fun, right? Oh, okay, so let's see. I got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sarah, they love, so they had they, they options, they had they selection, right? They was out there doing whatever they wanted to do, you know? It was a, it was their world. You was just a pawn in it and all that stuff, you know? I hear somebody with a big-ass ego coming through, right? <laughs> yeah, I got collective. They ain't going nowhere, you know? <laughs> I got collective wrapped around my finger, you know, collective. So they love me, like, <laughs> They, they know what they got, huh? You know, I got all them gone. You know, they was bragging on other people. They, this must be them talking to their friends, family, homeboys, homegirls, uh, sisters, brothers, cousins. <laughs> but they, you know, they was feeling good about themselves, especially last summer, especially this winter. But I feel like one thing they didn't know was that seasons were changing, right everything ultimately has an end right what's crazy now 
And now it's time for you to go to God with it, huh? Now it's time for you to pray for the collective and try to find insight and try to figure out how am I going to get the collective back? God, you know, I know I wasn't, I wasn't right, but don't let the collective leave me. You know, I love them. You know, I know I wasn't right. I know I did them dirty. But God, please, you know, uh, I'll do anything if you just, you know, keep the collective hard on me. You know, I don't want them to go. And it's crazy because these are all major arcanas. So this person definitely felt that shift, that change, right? Because something within the collective energy. I don't know what happened, what type of shift happened collectively because it happened to all of the collective, right? It was like some type of spark, you know, opened up within our um, third eye chakra. It was like, what are you doing? Like, you better than this. Why is you letting this person treat you like this, right? Like, go ahead, cry that last cry. One last cry, one last cry. Before I leave it all behind, I got to put you out of my mind this time. Yeah, because you really wanted this person. You thought that you could have a happily ever after with this person. Like, you know, you and this person would travel the world, start businesses, do great things together, right? So it did hurt you to disconnect from this person. But what didn't hurt was when you remembered how this person was out here, right? How this person was doing it and doing it and doing it well and doing it and doing it, right? Like they were having all the fun. You weren't having fun. You weren't getting satisfied. You weren't getting what you deserve out of this damn connection. They were reaping all the benefits of this connection, right? So you walked away. Start fo focused on you, focused on your money. And I see that you're doing good as hell right now, collective, right? Because when you start putting all that love, energy, time, and attention into your projects and things that uh, matter to you, I see, like, that's a big-ass pinnacle up there. <laughs> this is big. And if you ain't reap that harvest of that pinnacle yet, it's definitely coming right? You feel different. You feel renewed. You feel like, damn, anything can happen now, right? Like I can take on the world now. I've been through that. Like look at, look at the synchronicities of these energies that this fool in this will of fortune card has. Like it's like a freedom that you haven't had before, right? Now it's this person with all this fire under them. Cause now they're like, I wonder, you know what I just got collective? You know how sometimes you wonder <clears throat> what a person karma is? You want to know what this person karma truly is? It's knowing that they made you better for the next person. That's one of the real reasons why they don't want to let you go. You don't think they seen your change, your shift, your transformation. You don't think they see that you ain't that same person that came in that relationship. You don't think they see your growth. You don't see, think they know how much love you got to give, what it feels like to love you. You don't think they see that. That's their karma. To watch you. To think about you while you go on with your damn life. Sometimes that's all the karma that a person needs is to know that they lost a good thing, especially something that could have been so beautiful, right? Let's see how this person is feeling. How's this person feeling about the collective? Because it was all good when they was over there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know how happy that song is? You can play that song at a barbecue and have a good time. That is a very happy song. And for that song to be coming up for the Seven of Cups energy, y'all won't ever look at that Seven of Cups the same. Because now you know what that Seven of Cups really means. It really means like someone being out having, you know, their fun at your expense. How about that? While they're Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I don't know which day of the week you had or if you had a week. You probably had a month. Okay, let me see. It's it's January. Okay, I'm going to get back with Collective in February. You know what I mean? You probably had a month. 
And when they came through with that little month, dang, I hope it wasn't every six months. Been there. <laughs> Been there. Like, oh, I'm just going to move on. I'll hear this asshole come again. That type of vibe. <laughs> every time I'm gone, here they come. Okay. Let's see. How does this person feel about the collective? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now this is crazy. Now they want to be single and alone. What happened to all that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the energy? What happened to that whole vibe? Now you over there in that hermit energy with a flashlight searching for the collective and shit. Okay. So now they want what you wanted back then. Now, now they want to get right. This person can't get right. Mm -mm. Yeah, collective. They, they coming back. I know they coming back because they, they always come back to me. Well, shit, collective ain't came. Is that the, is that the collective in that airplane? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is that the collective in that airplane? I know that's not the collective in the airplane. Wait, hold on. Them boats just passing me up. Wait, hold up. Is that collective in them boats? They they in Ubers and planes? I know, I know they ain't taking crew. Wait, hold wait. Collective ain't thinking about me. Wait, wait, wait. Is that collective billboard that I see? Wait, it's, wow. It's Collective really, wow. Collective really got billboards now? Collective really on TV now? Wait, hold on, hold on. I know, I'm tripping. I know this ain't happened right before my eyes. I know I didn't let the Collective get away. No, no, I ain't, I ain't doing that. I gotta make this right one way or another. Uh, yeah, I got to do something. I can't just sit here and keep waiting. Collective won't pass me planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> and they really holding on to that backpack, too. You know, what you, what you got in that backpack? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Hmm. Remember all that DMX stuff? What you bitches want from a... And all that? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on, Collective. What else does Collective need to know about this person, please? What else does Collective need to know about this person? Mm -mm -mm. Ain't this... Uh, hey! <laughs> if I could just... Uh, wait, maybe Collective gonna call me. If they could call... Then that's when I'm going to say something because I ain't calling. And I might have to call though because they ain't called. Why they ain't called me? Wait, hold on. I might have to get, get my ass up off my high horse and um make that call because I've been sitting here waiting with all this love. I'm tired of just thinking about collective. I might... I might just have to go ahead and do it. Damn, I don't want to do it though. Because then I'm going to get collective power. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to. I don't want to get my power over to collective. Because man, I was, I was something else. And what was I thinking about? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday ain't about nothing. I ain't really like Friday and Saturday neither. Monday just it was something to do. <laughs> oh. I gotta go towards my true love. Like, honestly, I can't let Collective go. I love them. What was I thinking? I was so immature. 
Like, I thought it was all about me. And here it is. I had this strong, beautiful person in my life. I didn't even see it. I had to lose them to see it. Maybe I can make them fall in love again. Maybe, maybe they'll see that I've changed. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, if this person has done some work, okay, they have done some work. But I don't know if they know how to love you right, though. That's why I use different decks, because this deck, this Ace of Cups, pouring out in all kind of different directions. Why are they just pouring just one big pour on both sides or, you know, like a cup just overflowing? That cup is still empty, right? That bird going in there, all that love going to be gone. I just wonder if it's safe to love this person again. Ooh. Is it safe for the collective to love this person again? For those of the Nope. Nope. You you best stand in your Empress energy. Cause this person gonna come in long, hard, and strong. I don't know why I said it like that. Right? You're gonna be back in this eight of swords energy. And they only gonna give you just a little bit. Just to keep you there. Ain't that so disappointing? Like you would think a person go through all that thinking. All of that will come like will come correctly. Yeah, you got something new coming anyways. Ooh, yeah. And you don't even see it coming. Baby. Leave that person alone. You got somebody with this justice card. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. You don't even see this King of Cups coming with this Ace of Pentacles towards you. Right? You don't see this person coming yet. You do not see what Beloved has in store for you. Because you're like this right now. This is you. But if you look deeper into what's coming for you, baby. Yeah, that's that's what we're waiting for right there. Your wish fulfillment. Somebody that loved you for you. You know? That's, um, that heart is open, ready to love you. And it's it's like a gift that, that God is giving you. This, that energy, I think only one zodiac sign had this energy. So you guys are getting it too, but I think it was Virgo that had this energy of, I think theirs was the King of Pentacles though. But, um, they have this energy of like, this new person coming in. But this is a gift. Collective. This is a gift that's coming in. You see, beloved, uh, hands outreach. Beloved, seeing what this person did to you with their old foul ass. But this one was probably selfish. All about money, all about just themselves, status, all that type of stuff. Right? This one. Don't know how to love you the way you deserve to be loved. And they not no little boy or no little girl. They mature, right? Like, this is the person I was talking about earlier. Like, love those that love you because those you love ain't going to do shit for you. But the ones that love you going to take care of you. You see how he's a king of cups and she's an empress? Just male or female. Y'all know how tarot go. But you see how that's one step up for him? That's, that's how it's supposed to be. This person too self-centered to have seen you for who you are. But I'm going to take that back. I'm going to retract that message. Because if they didn't know, <laughs> now they know. Now they know. It might be too late. It might be too late for them, collective. I love it. How does this ex person feel about the collective? <laughs> That's why I was getting a lot of music for this reading. It's this person. 
And they probably do listen to that song Forever Mine. Sometime I stay awake thinking about you. We will be together again. That's the energy of a person that's not letting go. But where's that energy? With this energy, I don't know if it's worth that risk. And considering what you got coming in, hold on, collective. Let me show you the, the, the difference. You speak to me through music. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And we will be together uh, again. Okay, so you got... Hold on. I got to go back to my 80s music right now. Hold on. You can get with this. Hold on. Let me get it together. Hold on. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this, but this is where it's at. Mm. Is your choice, beloved? Because that looks like a beautiful new beginning to me. To me. Absolutely. Okay. So let me get a message from beloved. Close out this reading for the collective. Beloved, what's the message? You have for the collective. Yes. Yes. I love to say it like that. I have some um, friends that say it like that. <laughs> they be like, yes. <laughs> but relax. I receive all blessings. Oh, beloved. Change me into one who knows how to relax completely, sleep deeply, and receive all the blessings of every moment exactly as it presents itself with ease and gratitude. Yes, I love it, Collective. I thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.